936 you talk. How often have you heard this? A growing crisis crippling the nation. Millions of Americans are living in severe pain and they're turning to prescription painkillers for help. Yeah, CDC reports that 20% of U.S. adults actually experience chronic pain. Of those with chronic pain, up to 30% misuse opioids. But there may be a very effective alternative. My addiction started with alcohol when I was 23. Malia Baird's addiction continued for two decades. I was actually on my way to an alcohol class um, that was mandated, and I decided that um, I would stop at the liquor store and get ready for that meeting. She never made it. Malia blacked out behind the wheel. By the time I woke up, I had had four or five major surgeries. Basically, everything below her waist was broken. The pain was overwhelming, and she was addicted to narcotics. Well, neurosurgeon Giancarlo Barolet at Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center in Denver introduced a neurostimulator to relieve Malia's pain. He placed electrodes between her spinal cord and vertebrae. A, a battery pack was placed under the skin near her buttocks. The device stops the majority of the pain signals. We're able to either interrupt or change that signal so that when it reaches the brain is not perceived as pain. The electrodes are controlled by a, well, a remote control that patients manage. A study published in the Journal of Pain found that neurostimulation was effective in reducing opioid use by nearly 60%. Malia uses her stimulator every day and is now completely drug and alcohol free. Right? Dr. Barrelet says, look, anyone who has had pain that lasts for more than six months and has not responded to various treatments as a good candidate for a, a neurostimulator. So if that's you, talk with your doctor. Wow.